gluten free dairy free sugar free no carbs high protein intermittent fasting if you have pcos you've probably heard it all but here's the truth most women with pcos are following diet plans that either don't suit their body or are too restrictive to maintain so in this video i'll help you understand what a pcos friendly diet really looks like based on science and clinical experience not just online trends so let's get into it welcome back to my pcos series where i help you cut through the confusion and take clear and informed steps towards healing your hormones naturally Hi, I am Dr. Zainab Tajir, a homeopathy doctor and fertility specialist, and through my work with hundreds of women, I have seen firsthand how the right diet can reverse insulin resistance, regulate your cycles, and support natural conception. And in today's episode, we are diving into the nutritional strategies that actually work for PCOS. Let me first tell you why diet even matters in PCOS. So PCOS is not just a reproductive condition it is deeply connected to your metabolism your insulin regulation and even inflammation in fact over 70% of women with PCOS have insulin resistance which means that their body doesn't respond effectively to insulin which leads to more fat storage increased cravings fatigue and hormonal imbalance A 2018 study published in Nutrients confirmed that addressing insulin resistance through dietary changes significantly improves ovulation and menstrual regularity in PCOS. So it's very important for you to focus on your diet. I'm sure you are wondering what should you even focus on in PCOS diet the first thing we want to be mindful about is balancing your blood sugar levels so managing your insulin levels is the cornerstone of any effective PCOS plan because when your blood sugar is constantly spiking and crashing your body responds by producing more insulin levels which triggers your androgen hormones which are your male hormones and this disrupts your ovulation it causes acne hair fall and leads to irregular period cycles so the key is to eat in a way that prevents insulin spikes throughout the day according to a 2020 review in the journal of clinical endocrinology maintaining stable glucose insulin response leads to better hormonal profiles in women with pcos that means that firstly you need to avoid having overly processed carbohydrates Secondly include enough protein and healthy fats in your diet and try to space your meals properly so avoid long hours of fasting because that can trigger your cortisol response and also make sure that you are not skipping your meals especially your breakfast because that is what sets the tone for your day the second important thing to focus on is to lower your chronic inflammation so many women with pcos experience low grade inflammation which worsens insulin resistance and disrupts the ovarian function so to combat this firstly we want to increase the intake of anti inflammatory foods like leafy greens turmeric cinnamon berries and all kinds of seeds Secondly choose whole foods over the processed ones and also focus on natural omega 3s that you get from nuts flax seeds and if you are a non vegetarian you can also opt for fatty fish and also avoid having processed oils like sunflower oil or soya bean oil try and avoid packaged snacks and refined sugars because all these can trigger inflammation in your body So studies have shown that anti-inflammatory diet improves menstrual regularity, it reduces androgen levels and also supports better ovulation and outcomes in women with PCOS. The third important thing to focus on is to eat nutrient dense and not restrictive. So one of the biggest myths is that you need to eliminate entire food groups to manage PCOS. But in reality what matters is you want to focus on quality rather than elimination. So you don't need to cut gluten or dairy unless you have a proven intolerance or sensitivity to it. 
in fact moderate amounts of fermented dairy like curd or paneer can actually support your gut health and hormonal balance also include whole grains like millets oats and brown rice because when you eat balanced with the right nutrients you stabilize your blood sugar and also support your long term energy so your diet needs to be rich in micronutrients in gut supportive nutrients and also it has to be sustainable and enjoyable so a study actually showed that micronutrient deficiencies like magnesium zinc and vitamin d are very common in pcos and replenishing those nutrients can improve the outcome across the board from ovulation to mood regulation so it's definitely something that you need to consider then The fourth important thing is to focus on introducing the key nutrients. So let's look at some of the most essential nutrients for PCOS. The first one is vitamin D because it supports insulin sensitivity and mood and deficiency is also very common in women with PCOS. The second is magnesium because it helps with blood sugar control, PMS, anxiety, etc. The third is zinc because it's crucial for your health health and immunity and hormonal balance. Then you also want to make sure you are having enough of B vitamins because they help with hormonal detox and let's not forget myo inositol because it's a powerful insulin sensitizer and it is one of the most proven ways in which you can manage your PCOS naturally. So a 2011 clinical study found that women with PCOS who took myo inositol had significant improvement in ovulation and pregnancy rates. So if you are not sure whether you are getting enough of these nutrients or if your diet is correct, I would love to help. To book a session with me, you can click the link in the description below. Now, let's talk about the common mistakes that I want you to avoid. Firstly, no crash dieting or eating too little because that actually slows down your metabolism and worsens your hormonal imbalance. Second, try avoiding skipping your meals or going long hours between your meals because again that's not very good for you. Then also try to avoid over restricting carbs because your thyroid and your hormones still need carbohydrate intake for their regular functioning and avoid following any generic weight loss advice because that doesn't necessarily work for your hormones so now you understand why your food choices play a direct role in how you feel how your period cycles are and also how your hormones behave so if you are done with fad diets and need a more sustainable science backed approach to nutrition this is your starting point So make sure that you subscribe and you tap the notification bell and in the next episode we'll cover exercises for PCOS and we'll talk about which exercises help and which are the ones you should be avoiding. So comment below and tell me which is one nutrition myth that you've believed in before you watched this video and also if you want personalized guidance for your PCOS diet or to help with managing your PCOS naturally I will leave the appointment details in the description below So hi I am Dr Zainab Tajir and you are watching the PCOS series where we are turning the hormone confusion into clarity and confidence and always remember your plate can be the most powerful tool for your healing so let's use it wisely I will see you in the next episode